we'll start looking at all these microphones by running their total weight and we will be using this Motorola as more or less the benchmark standard for comparison purposes as many of you might be familiar with this style of microphone and that's 170 grams a medium duty microphone that we used to sell it is 128 grams let's have a look now at some of the lightweight microphones of Chinese origin uh, this is uh, one that's fairly ubiquitous and it is 80 grams to the Wushan lightweight which is very similar 102 grams we will go to the Baofeng 96 grams to the medium duty TYT microphone or at least it's the one we source from TYT I don't know if they make it they sell it to us and it's presently the medium duty one on our website 130 grams and last we're going to move on to the two JDI waterproof ones this is the one with the without the volume limiter on it and it comes in at 200 grams and last is the one with the volume limiter switch on it and that's 206 grams measure of cruelty in the preparation of like the, tearing uh, oysters yeah. from their so bed? killing them and eating them alive no they will put literally anything in their mouth Trent McClellan Alexander Graham Bell pale ales in comparison So in conclusion, if super lightweight is the biggest priority and durability and waterproofness and sound quality are not as high of a priority, then one of these three lightweight style of uh, microphones, speaker mics, might be of interest. I have found that if they have a plastic clip on the back, they're not as rugged as the ones that sport the metal dial on the back. So out of these three you'll find that the Wushan or the Baofeng mic would be more reliable or more rugged than this one that has the plastic case that breaks off easily. Now down to the weight between these three that you'll see that the reason for the weight difference between them is not actually so much the mic housing but the cable and you can see that the gauge of the cable is different between them and that would explain the difference between the weights with this Wushan cable having apparently the thickest. It doesn't necessarily mean that the gauge of wire used inside is any different it could simply mean that the rubber or the insulator is different. 
Now let's move on to the medium duty microphones. They are more rugged in respect to the metal casing on the back with the clip. You'll see that they all have the metal interface and again using the Motorola as a benchmark reference you'll see the thickness of the cable on the Motorola compared to the thickness on again this is the medium duty mic that we used to sell and it has the thinnest of the cable and the present one we have now is comparable to the Motorola and it appears to have about the coil is about an inch less in total length than the Motorola is. So again this is the current one that we source from TYT. Now we move on to the JDI mics and we're going to compare them again to a benchmark Motorola and these are the most heavy duty that we have. They are IPX68 waterproof and they are noise cancelling and because of the waterproofness this plug is plugging now the jack for your earphone so it is non-functional. These have an optional button on them to assign optional functions if your radio supports that feature. Now looking at the back let's start with Motorola and you'll see that one feature that the Motorola or higher end microphones have is the ability to remove the clip. You take pressure off the spring and the clip comes off and goes back on again. The JDI, which are made in Taiwan, not in China, have adapted that, or sorry, adopted that similar functionality and it also can be removed. These style of microphones, whether the light duty or the medium duty, don't have the noise cancelling features on them and wind noise can become quite a problem as well as when snow or water gets on them they're not as resistant to it so that's why we ended up coming up with these mic covers in order to mitigate that problem and the way these mic covers are applied is you put the cord through the opening and you run the cable through it. You bring it up over the front of the microphone and you pull the shock cord drawstring tight and fix it down with the toggle. And that's when you, you end up like that. And this is recommended if you have a mic that is not noise cancelling. That is why we went with noise cancelling on all the JDI builds that we had made. A mic cover because of their waterproof rating and because of the noise cancelling feature is not required with these microphones. More doesn't mean there will be oysters. I think you're confusing oysters with pottery barns. <laughs> in days that end in Y. Thank you. Jay, 